On September 20th, 2024, Champ searched President Katie Elizabeth aboard her research vessel Kelpie 2, which was outfitted with an array of cutting-edge sonar and hydrophone equipment, captured echolocation clicks similar to dolphin and orca echolocation. Although she does not believe these animals are a cetacean species, this ability could have developed over time through evolutionary adaptation. There is a unique signature in this echolocation recording that has not been captured in previous recordings. There is a distinct buzzing sound, which is a complicated harmonic structure heard in several cetacean species before catching prey. Here are some comparisons. Atlantic white-sided dolphin. Lagenahenkus acutus. Orca, or Chinus orca, or killer whale. Beluga whale, Delphinapterus lucas. This is not the first time echolocation has been recorded in Lake Champlain. Katie has previously recorded similar echolocation recordings, which have been analyzed by scientists for the History Channel, Discovery Channel, Science Channel, as well as by scientists in Japan, and stated authentic and unlike any species known to be in a freshwater lake. She has recorded known fish that inhabit Lake Champlain and man-made sounds that do not fit into the category of what has been recorded in this recording signature. Katie Elizabeth has done extensive bioacoustics work with cetaceans, whales and dolphins, and manatees, recording their sounds in the North Atlantic and off the Florida coast, studying the known fish sounds in Lake Champlain and sounds made by man. Here are some recordings of known fish and man-made sounds that are not comparable to the echolocation recordings captured. Sturgeon thunder, vocalizations, Lake Sturgeon. Asipensa fulvescens. Freshwater drum. Sheephead. Aplodinotus grunians. Alwife. Allosa pseudoharangus. An orchestra of common fish that inhabit Lake Champlain. Man made sound of a boat motor. Betty Elizabeth shared the recordings with Cindy Jolie a marine biologist from Perth, Australia, and a graduate of marine biology from Murdoch University. She was amazed at the complex nature of these sounds. Her thoughts are as follows. Many animals can create underwater sounds for various purposes, such as communication, hunting, and navigation. This consists of fishes, amphibians, reptiles, and aquatic mammals. The sounds recorded in Lake Champlain resemble intricate clicks employed for echolocation, like the ones produced by present-day toothed whales. 
If the sounds belong to a marine mammal, there will be ongoing sightings, as these animals need to surface frequently for air. The absence of living cetaceans in the lake makes it unlikely that the sounds are coming from these animals. The lake holds several species of reptiles and amphibians, with some species can remain submerged for longer durations than any marine mammal, and carry out hibernation during winter. Certain amphibians and reptiles, such as newts and turtles, can create clicks underwater, although they are not as complex as the sound captured. The audio shows the possibility of an unknown species, unlike anything known from a freshwater lake. The theory that a highly evolved, ectothermic animal that can produce complex clicks resides in the lake is possible. Additional data and research are required to confirm. This conclusion from marine biologist Cindy Jolie is a significant scientific breakthrough. KT Elizabeth will continue these bioacoustic studies. If future recordings are captured, they will be analyzed and perhaps one day place this elusive unknown species known as Shump into our zoological record as an officially catalogued species. <laughs>